In this video, we're going to work a problem where we are required to find the vector sum of forces. In particular, we are going to be getting these vector sums graphically. In most cases, you'll be working with a Cartesian coordinate system. So in either 2D or 3D, you sum vectors based on their components. But it's still valuable to work practice problems with vectors graphically. You learn a lot of the geometry involved in working with vectors. And it also gives you more of an intuitive feel for vectors. In this case, force vectors. So, okay, let's get started. Three chains act on the bracket such that they create a resultant force having a magnitude of 500 pounds. If two of the chains are subjected to known forces as shown, determine the angle theta of the third chain measured clockwise from the positive x-axis so that the magnitude of force F in this chain is a minimum. All forces lie in the xy plane. What is the magnitude of F? So the key to solving this is realizing that for F to be a minimum and the total resultant force of these three force vectors to be 500 pounds in any direction, these force vectors are set. So if we find the resultant of, of these two force vectors, we'll get a vector in a certain direction. F is a minimum if it acts in that direction. So it's just like a direct sum to 500. If it didn't act in that same direction, it would take a larger force to get a resultant of 500, right? Because if they're in the same direction, it's, it's a pure sum straight to 500. Okay, so we're gonna do all of this graphically. We're not using I hat, J hat, K hat, anything like that, not, not in these problems. We're practicing working with vectors graphically. So let's first draw these two vectors, draw them to scale so that the, the re their relative length between them is to scale. So that's 200 pounds, and then 300 divided by 200, 1.5. So this, the 300 pound vector will be 1.5 times the length of this vector. So about right there. Okay, now let's draw the, there's the X, the Y axis and the X axis. Okay, so the 200 pound vector is acting straight up and down like that. And then the 300 pound vector is acting at 30 degrees like that. And so all we're gonna do is get the vector sum of these two and we'll get a direction and that's the direction of 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 f because we're just going to add f is going to be in that direction the exact number needed to get to 500 just just add it just a straight addition okay so let's get the sum of these two vectors we'll use the let's use the the triangle rule here so there's this is this 300 plus 200 results in this here. Okay, so this is 300. This is 200. This is 30 degrees. And this is theta, right? This is actually this this literal theta because F is going to be in this direction. So this is part of our answer. Okay, we're going to be using the law of cosines or the law of sines to help us find, find the answer. So we need another angle. Can we get this angle here? Yes, because look, this is a right triangle. We can say that, well, yeah, 90 minus or 180 minus 90 is 90. 90 minus 30 is 60. This is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Okay, so now we can use the law of cosines. We've got these two side lengths and the angle between them. So we can find what we'll call this FR. Okay, so FR is equal to 
So the square root of a squared, so 300 squared plus b squared minus 2 Okay. So we've got three hundred All right, the square root of this. 264.6 pounds okay now that's that's not f we know that f is going to be 500 minus this because f is going to be in this direction you just apply f directly to this so it just adds it's a, it's a straight addition so f is going to be 500 minus Okay, so 235.4, okay, but we still need theta, but that's not a problem. We can just use the law of sines to get this angle here, which we'll call alpha. And then alpha is just, or theta is just alpha minus 30. Okay, so FR, so FR over sine of 60. So wait, we know FR. FR is okay, is equal to sine of alpha over 200. Sine of alpha is equal to wait, no, 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 sorry. This should be This is sine of alpha is down here. Okay. So sine of alpha is equal to you have two hundred times sine of sixty. Okay, divided by two sixty four point six point six five four six. So alpha is equal to forty point nine degrees. Okay, so now theta is alpha minus thirty. Okay, so theta is equal to 10.9 degrees, and that's your answer.